In today's uh, journal, you, take a, you took a look at the uh, HTC One. What do you think of it? Yeah, so this is the first model in the One line. This is a big deal because, as you were just talking about, this company, HTC, is trying to build a brand just like Samsung did with the Galaxy line. Uh, that was a popular effort by Samsung, and they had it across all four major carriers. So now HTC is trying to do the same with this One model. It's called the HTC One S, and it's available first from T-Mobile starting today. And it'll be available from AT&T next, and a very similar phone will be available from Sprint after that. And what is different about One? I mean, what does One <laughs> signify? Um, it really doesn't signify anything. I, I'd like to think that it's kind of trying to unite the name or the brand across all the carriers, but I don't, I don't necessarily know that that's what it signifies. But uh, the news here really is that this is the thinnest HTC phone that's ever been made, which is exciting for people who like a thin phone. Compared to the iPhone, the iPhone looks really chunky when you're holding them up next to one another. Hmm. And this has a really great camera, and the camera will be the same on all of these HTC One models. So if you want to take a good picture with beautiful colors and some really nice editing that's built in, this rivals that of the iPhone 4S. And that's saying a lot, considering that the iPhone 4S has been such a great camera and is so popular. When you say it rivals it is, it, is it as good or better? I'm sorry? You said it rivals the iPhone 4S, but yep. is it as good, better? Can you, can you give us a sense of that? Because that yeah, camera is such a It was defining... about half and half. Yeah, Julia, sometimes it was better and sometimes the iPhone pictures were better. They, the iPhone is able to detect some of the details in a photo a little bit better. But um, it was kind of a toss-up. I took photos this whole past week using both of the phones and uh, compared the pictures, and it was they were really almost comparable. So I liked it a lot. It's interesting that uh, your story appeared in today's paper in the personal journal section. In the marketplace section, there was another HT story talking about how they feel as if they're having trouble with the U.S. market. Is, uh, is this phone something that can help HTC reclaim part of, of the U.S. market? They certainly hope so. You know, we will see. Uh, the One has had a lot of marketing and a lot of buzz. And like I said earlier, the idea of going into a store, no matter what carrier it is, and asking for this One is something they want people to do. In the past, Android has been very uh, difficult to identify. People don't know what model they have. They might call their phone a droid, which is not accurate. It's just, that was actually a Verizon model that came out. Um, so people have been very confused. Meanwhile, Apple has stuck with the same iPhone, 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 iPhone for years now. And people really know that name and that brand. So, you know, HTC is trying to follow what Samsung did a year ago.